Hello everyone. I just wanted to give you a quick update and, uh, you know, talk about a couple of things that I've been doing recently and things that I've been planning. So, um, first of all, a quick personal message, the whole house building thing, even though there is... Um, if, you, if you're in Australia or have been following the Australian news, uh, construction at the moment is a really, really hot topic. So, uh, yeah, it's going to get interesting, but uh, we're still up, we're still moving forward. So at some point, probably next year, uh, we will actually be having a house, which would be great. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's going to keep me busy, but hopefully not as busy as I've been uh, as I've been earlier this year. So I have asked relatively recently, just on the terms of uh, World of Warships, what is it, I did a bit of a poll, what is it that you really like seeing? Because, uh, you know, <laughs> they, Wargaming puts out so many new premium, premium ships that I could probably spend the whole week just making premium ship reviews. But I don't want to just make premium ship reviews. I actually want to get back, uh, back to some of the more time intensive things and uh, just as a quick side, uh, something like Hearts of Iron or XCOM is relatively easy to make because I literally record talk while I'm doing that and then I just have to edit the audio track and the video track together and then I'm done. So if I, if I make an, a one and a half hour video for, uh, for XCOM 2, it takes me an hour and a half plus probably 15 minutes or five minutes really just to edit it together. So that's not a huge one. Uh, some of the more involved Water Warships videos are taking a lot longer because I need to research. I need to actually test play the ship. Usually around, I usually play somewhere between five and fifteen battles, depending uh, depending on how different the ship is from everything else. Uh, just you know to get a decent feel for it. Uh, then I need to record footage, and then I need to uh, do record the review, and I need to do the commentary on the footage, and I need to edit that all together. So all in all, this can easily take anywhere around four to six hours to get a, just a ship review done. And then the more in, even more involved things like, um, like map tactics and such, I need actually specific footage that demonstrates what it is that I would like to demonstrate and talk about. Um, and, and then there's a whole lot of effort involved in editing as well. So these take quite a bit of time, which is why I haven't really been doing this recently because I was always very, very short on time and I'd rather get some ship reviews out and just try to keep up with everything that's new and happening. But long story short, I did the poll and um, the results are quite interesting. So 11% of you said you really like premium ship reviews. And th that is actually not that surprising because premium ships are relatively expensive oftentimes. And um, while it is useful, even if you don't have the premium ship, to know what it's capable of because you might see it in battle on your side or the enemy team side uh, it's still obviously not for everybody 22 percent of you were really keen on tech tree ship, ship reviews and 19 percent have picked the strategies game mechanics and other things and then almost half of you said look it doesn't matter as long as it's world of warships i'm happy with it and um, three percent were on the were on the yeah world of warships is cool but are we really here for the other content now don't worry, <laughs> I will keep running XCOM 2 and I will keep running Hearts of Iron 4. I don't know yet what I'm going to be doing once XCOM 2 is finished, but that looks like it's still going to be a while. And I've got years worth of ideas of what I can do with Hearts of Iron, so that's here to stay. Um, but uh, what I'll try is I'll try to limit the amount of premium ship reviews to one a week. So um, at, at, at most. And there might be some weeks where I'm just not going to pick up some, some new premiums. So not every new premium uh, I'm, I'm going to necessarily pick up. I will get to them at some point. I have a whole backlog of things that people have been asking me about. Uh, I think Asashio, um, one of the higher tier French premium battleships. Uh, people were keen on Stalingrad and all kinds of things. So I, I've got that all listed up. I just, you know, there's only so many videos I'm making a week and three World of Warships videos a week is roughly what I can get out at this point. Um, so I will try to, I will limit the amount of premium ship reviews I do. Uh, I'll, I'll try to complete more of the tech tree ships. There are whole tech tree lines that I haven't really touched British destroyers. I haven't done an awful lot on these. Um, obviously new tech tree lines coming in. Uh, there's probably going to be, I mean, if we're going, if we're following PC, there's going to be uh, German battle cruisers. There's going to be Soviet destroy uh, Soviet carriers. There's going to be all kinds of, of of stuff that's going to come up, which is all tech tree. So 
uh, I have my hands full following that up, but I will also try to get back to the more tactical strategic videos and these kind of things. Uh, so that's one thing. And yeah, like I said, Hearts of Iron 4 is going to stay, XCOM 2 is going to stay uh, at the frequency that they are right now. And the other thing that people have been asking me a lot and um, is to, to take another look at Modern Warships. Uh, I have dr dropped off Modern Warships for probably about a year now because I felt that the game was imbalanced. Um, it, uh, and I haven't looked back yet, but a lot of people have said the game has changed, the game's gotten better, and uh, I'm a lot of people are keen on it, so I'm going to take another look and see... I'm probably not going to be do it at the same frequency as World of Warships, but it, it, it might be a... or it's not also going to cannibalize one of the spots, but um, I might throw the occasional Modern Warships ship review or video in here uh, if if I find that uh, things have improved to the degree that I'm enjoying playing it again. Um, and uh, yeah, probably the very first video is just going to be me exploring what what has changed since I last looked at it, because yeah, the game's obviously been been uh, moving on and has, has a relatively large following as well. So if you look at other YouTubers doing Modern Warships, um, there's a lot of people interested in that. So um, I'm going to be checking that out. Lastly, um, I was thinking, and I'm still thinking about, of um, of uh, looking into Diablo, Diablo Immortal. Uh, not as a tutorial sort of thing, because I just don't have the time to sink into a yet another uh, multiplayer game <laughs> and figuring out all the intricacies, but maybe just as a casual sort of playthrough thing. So um, I, I might throw that in at some point, but uh, right now, like I said, I've, I've really got my hands full trying to, um, try, trying to get the five videos plus maybe modern warships out uh, so we'll, we'll see how things go we'll, we'll see how how my time goes and if i can devote some more into something like diablo immortal and uh, that might be an interesting you know just a just a casual game to to be playing on the side anyway i uh, wish you all still a great sunday and um is it sunday today it's sunday today right yeah it's sunday today <laughs> Which means I have to post the I have to post the schedule for next week. Um, it's probably going to be uh, let's see, Monday is going to be Flint, like I said, only one premium, and then Tuesday is going to be Hearts of Iron. I have that already recorded. Um, Thursday is going to be a Terry Fails video <laughs> because I haven't done one of those in a while. Uh, so that's just a small collection of me being derpy <laughs> and making stupid stupid mistakes and getting myself sunk. And uh, then uh, there's going to be another XCOM, and Saturday I I think I will do one on uh, the Conqueror Legendary module because there was there were a bunch of questions around that, and I don't want to leave it for too long. So um, there's going to be a bit of theory around that thing. Uh, yeah, which uh, I, I, I still have I still have footage for another for a lot of other things. So uh, the week after next, maybe on the list um, the uh, Johann David and also the Kremlin legendary module. they have got some stuff on that as well. So uh, more stuff to come, but I uh, haven't tied it down yet. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> that's, all I, that's all I've got today. Wish you all a great Sunday, weekend, everything, and uh, have, have a good week next week. See you all.